you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about my new repository, which I published last week called Streamlight plus JMeter. Last month, I stumbled upon this new framework called Streamlight, which is the uh, first app framework for machine learning and data science professionals. As a data scientist or as a machine learning developer, you should be focusing on the algorithms rather than focusing on the GUI part. So right now you'll be spending more time to build an intuitive UI using Flask or Jinja or any other frameworks. But Streamlight, which will uh, expedite the process of the UI part so that you can spend more time on the algorithms. So for more details, you can visit this website streamlight.io. So what is Streamlight and uh, uh, the sample application, uh, the hello world basically. So everything is listed here. So it is completely free and open source. And also it works with uh, multiple libraries like uh, Pandas, NumPy, uh, Matlab, Matplotlib, Seaborn, etc. Then I uh, played around this tool uh, for a couple of days and then I got the use case. So why not to integrate this with uh, JMeter? So as you know, JMeter is an open source and uh, which will be uh, widely popularly used by development and testing team for uh, load testing uh, applications and web services uh, and etc. By integrating the JMeter with Streamlight, I believe that we are opening the doors for machine learning so that uh, we can uh, detect anomalies or you can learn about your uh, response time. Uh, you can learn about uh, the patterns basically. So of course this will not reveal any uh, bottlenecks as such because for the bottlenecks and uh, uh, other recommendations, tuning recommendations, we need to rely on APM tools uh, like Penetrace or AppDynamics. But what I'm trying to uh, explain here is just by bringing the uh, the client side, uh, not client side actually, the JMeter statistics uh, like latency, elapsed time, uh, connect time, and the uh, label and the timestamp, you will be able to uh, plot various uh, graphs. Uh, in machine learning using machine learning algorithms and you can uh, you can understand the pattern of your application so uh, this is the initial step i just uh, took to demonstrate the capability of streamlight uh, with jmeter so this is just a beginning and this repository doesn't have any um, machine learning algorithms uh, it's just an ui created uh, in Streamlight under the hood Python and other libraries and uh, you'll be able to uh, run your script and you'll be able to analyze the uh, results uh, we will, which we are going to see in a moment. Okay. So just go to this repository github.com slash QA insights slash Streamlight hyphen JMeter and just clone this repository. If you scroll down you can see the detailed uh, steps which you need to follow. So there are a lot of prerequisites you need to uh, satisfy. One is you need to have the latest version of uh, JMeter and uh, you should have the uh, editor. So I prefer VS Code. You can use PyCharm if you want or any other editors. And you have to install Python. Latest version is uh, advisable and you have to install pip and you have to install the Streamlight, the latest version. So to install Streamlight, again, uh, I have added the link. So I installed Anaconda Navigator. So I installed uh, all the packages from the Anaconda. I created the environment and I uh, set up everything there. So you can see the detailed instructions over here. And uh, of course, you already have experience uh, with JMeter. So you can, uh, if you are new to JMeter, you can uh, check this link, how to get started with uh, JMeter. So once you install everything, you can uh, test your uh, setup by running the command uh, streamlight hello or you can run your uh, uh, python script from your uh, github gists 
like this stream light run space the the url of your guest and as i uh, mentioned i'm just bringing the possibilities of machine learning um, for your jmeter uh, results so that you can learn the patterns and uh, another important stuff you need to do is you need to set up the uh, jmeter home environment without this the script will not work it will break so you have to uh, download the jmeter and extract it and put it in your uh, c drive like this and then you need to point the uh, jmeter underscore home environment variable to the path so you can check the uh, environment variable uh, by sending the command uh, uh, ampersand uh, jmeter underscore home sorry uh, percentage jmeter underscore home percentage in the command prompt which will uh, display the path of your jmeter home and once you're done with all the setups make sure that you are installing all the required components uh, using these uh, requirements.txt so you can just copy this and go to your uh, the folder where you extracted it so in this case i have extracted it in this folder structure so here you can just type uh, python space hyphen m space pip install hyphen r uh, dot slash requirements.txt so this is the powershell so you have to use uh, dot slash so if you hit enter it will automatically uh, install the required packages if it is not already installed if it is already there then it will just say requirement already satisfied okay so let me clear the screen so now we already uh, cloned everything so here you could see the app dot uh, py and about.py and these are the uh, uh, python files which i have created so you can go through the code i mean it is not very uh, very professional so i just created uh, uh, basically it works so whenever you test the positive stuffs whenever you give the valid input it will work of course it has defects so if you find any defects you can list it out in my repository i will uh, check it out and then i will try to fix it but uh, as i said this is just a beginning uh, to demonstrate the capability of Streamlight uh, and JMeter. So next step is to implement the machine learning algorithm, which is in progress. So once I get uh, uh, time and once I uh, go through all the concepts, uh, definitely I will uh, implement the algorithms. So now let us run the uh, app. So to run the command, to run the uh, app, you have to issue the command uh, called uh, Streamlit uh, run and app.py and hit enter so this will launch the application in the browser so if, the, if, if there is a already a browser uh, opened it will open a new tab otherwise it will launch the new window so as you see in the screen it is launching the uh, streamlight application uh, in the local host 8501 so for the first time it will take a couple uh, more than uh, 10 to 20 seconds so now you can see the home page the about page so here you can see the uh, about and limitations uh, known issues etc on the left side you can see the navigation pane you can just uh, slide out and slide in and here you can see the navigation uh, there are three options right now home page execute analyze and here are the message about the contribution and the about the top right side you can see uh, again there's a menu if so you want to rerun the app, you can uh, click on the rerun. If you want to clear the cache, you can clear the cache. And if you want to learn more about the uh, Streamlight, you can check it out these links. And also at the bottom, you can see the made with Streamlight uh, footer. So this is very simple UI, nothing fancy here. So first let us execute the uh, JMeter test plan. So to execute, you have to click on the first option, execute JMeter test plan. Just click on this uh, radio button. This will load your uh, JMeter path. So which is uh, right now, uh, my path is this one. And it will automatically fetches the uh, JMX files. So if you just click on this uh, drop down uh, list box, you can see all the uh, JMeter uh, test plans. So you can have, uh, so basically in the bin folder, you, you will have a lot of files, right? So it will not list out uh, everything it will just list out only the jmx files so in this case uh, what we are going to do is we are going to 
execute the sample dot jmx okay so whenever you do some action you can see at the top right uh, you'll get a notification like running uh, and also there is a button called stop so that means your the application is uh, processing basically okay so now i have selected the uh, sample dot jmx and uh, to execute this test plan you have to click on the run button so so we are going to uh, run this sample dot jmx so just click on run so once you click on run what will happen is it will uh, start the execution and also it will generate the results file and you can see the command so to see the progress you have to go to the uh, vs code but at the top right you can see the status is running so which means our script is running so go to vs code and here you can see the uh, the progress of your jmeter uh, test so this is how it will display whenever you run your jmeter test in the non gui mode also known as uh, called cli mode so non gui was the previous name now the name is cli command line interface so now you can see the uh, statistics are popping up so right now uh, there are 15 samples uh, 17 seconds has gone on the average response time minimum response time maximum response time and uh, the execution has been completed so the sample dot jmx file has been executed for 30 seconds and the results has been collected and stored in this particular uh, file okay so let us note down this 9 c e b 849 f 7 c 1 so now our execution has been completed let us go to analyze to uh, view the results okay so when you want to click on uh, analyze again it will uh, populate all the csv files from the bin folder so ours is uh, 849 i think uh, which one so i think we executed the the last one i think this one f9 okay. so here you could see uh, it is uh, whenever you select the csv file it will automatically uh, display the start time uh, end time and the total duration of the test and also the summary report so here uh, to see the detailed view you have to click on this uh, arrow double headed arrows to see the uh, results so it will display the uh, 50 percentile uh, 75 percentile response time 95 percent response time 99 percentile max etc and uh, error count uh, uh, there is basically nothing because the response code is 200 so to see the graphs you have to click on this uh, show graphs so this will generate the graphs between uh, timestamp and latency timestamp and response code etc and all the graphs are uh, interactive basically so you can just uh, play around with the graphs so for example if you see the scatter plot so these are uh, interactive you can just zoom in zoom out and you can hover over uh, on the particular uh, spot it will display the uh, uh, the note so all are intuitive uh, so these graphs are created using the uh, vega light library so there is a uh, library called vega light you can check out the link here so again it's open source you can uh, use uh, those libraries you can play around lot of stuff so there are a lot of different kinds of graphs available by inbuilt so you have to just append that particular uh, call in your uh, python uh, code so so this is how you will make use of this particular uh, repository so streamlight is just a gui where you can uh, generate you can design the intuitive uh, interface for your uh, data science and machine learning uh, algorithms so you will focus only on the algorithms you will focus uh, less time on the gui because just a couple lines of code you will get a beautiful ui so it's a it's a wrapper basically so uh, as i mentioned this is just a beginning and uh, next step is to uh, learn the uh, machine learning which algorithm is right fitment for our jmeter and uh, we have to train the model and we need to uh, predict the outcome and or learn the patterns so there are different kinds of uh, machine learning uh, supervised unsupervised reinforcement etc and again in between inside the supervised learning there are different types of uh, methods a uh, classification uh, regression etc again as reinforcement learning as its own algorithms uh, anomaly detection as well, a lot of algorithms so right now those are in progress once 
i have something in place definitely i'll be i'll be publishing a more uh, code in my repository so please uh, star it and uh, please fork it and uh, if you have any uh, defects or fixes or any documentations if you want to contribute please uh, do i am very happy to uh, accept uh, the changes and the improvements so thanks for watching have a great day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel